Just don't throw milk outside on the ground like that. Louisa, uh, anyways, hello. I ain't like the way I came in. Um, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm just an ordinary black girl, but you can call me Destiny because that's what my mama named me. Anyway, today I am back for another episode of Breaking Bad. This will be season one, episode three for your girl. But first, I like to do a little memory refresher about last time so I can make sure I remember what happened. What happened last time was, you know, they started me off right where I left off, where Walter was, um, you know, um, having a moment with his wife walter had a moment with his wife then walter went and he passed out on the bathroom floor stayed on that floor all night they had his wife very suspicious you know his wife now her now her attendance like okay what's going on because walter's acting weird so then they flashed me back to how the cleanup went turns out they got the little they got the rv out of the little desert or whatever it worked they were able to drive it but turns out one of the dudes they thought was dead wasn't dead emilio dead crazy eight not dead so walton and jesse gotta figure out what they gonna do they gotta get rid of emilio body and they gotta do something with crazy eight they don't know what they gonna do and throughout that episode i just saw that walter and jesse don't know what they're doing they have no idea what they're doing at all like they just as clueless as I would be if I would be in the situation. They have no idea what to do. They got okay. Um, they flipped the coin. Jesse got the job to do something with Millie body with the acid, and Walter got the job to do something with Crazy Eight. Okay, Walter told Jesse to to get certain these certain type of totes because the acid went burn through them. Jesse came back. To the house with nothing seeing it wasn't a toe big enough for his body and you know walter was like well you could have just like cut his body up and put it in different toes in a way jesse said that's too gruesome for him so like i said jesse not really about that life i see jesse not really about that i thought jesse was about that jesse not about that for real i thought he was but it turns out jesse was just making myth and just getting a little money and having fun on the side he wasn't really deep up in the game like walter about to have him deep up in the with this mess he didn't the boy into so like i said jesse didn't listen to walter jesse decided to drag emilio upstairs and put his body in acid in the tub anyway long story short it melted emilio blood everything guts just fell through the ceiling then you got walter with the crazy eight situation you know he was trying to figure out how he was gonna do crazy eight and couldn't figure out Episode went off, Crazy Eight in the basement, Walter then fed the man, gave him tissue, hands to the towel, and a little bucket to do his business in. So I feel like Crazy Eight gonna be thinking like, yeah, they weak. I can take them. Cause that was a very weak move. But like I said, I get it. You know, Walter and Jesse, they don't know what they doing. They don't know what they're doing right now. Then on top of all of this, Walter and Jesse don't know what they doing. Let's pick it back up. His wife is suspicious now. Um, Jesse calls Walter at home, pretending to be, uh... AT&T anyway his wife said I know you lying so she read all or she read down the number find out it's Jesse now she questioning Walter she like what you doing with your old student he's a high school burnout whatever she said druggy burnout what what business do you have with him he tell her that Jesse selling him weed I, like I said that was crazy enough for her to believe and to like fall back off it but no his wife go to Jesse house his wife knows it his his wife just a little too curious to me a little too want to be in the know but like I said you know Walter he probably been this man this certain type of straight laced man for all these years now all of a sudden he's staying out night he's staying out night he's staying out late he's falling asleep on the bathroom floor he just kicking these random phone calls so I get why his wife would be suspicious yeah that's about what happened last time you know, we we literally were we started in the second episode. They gotta clean up that mess they made in this man house when the bathtub fell through the ceiling and crazy eight is still sitting up in that basement. So And now his wife owned to him a little bit, so I don't know. That's basically we're we're basically still there right now, so I'm gonna shut up here. I'm gonna shut up right here and I gotta know what's about to go on, so 
we about to get into this episode. I see what they gonna do about this. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention that a little girl found that mask at the end. It was a lot going on last time. Mm. Mm -mm. Jesse made the job 10 times harder than it was before. They cleaned up blood and guts and he made it. He was worried about how gruesome it was gonna be and he made it 10 times more gruesome than it was gonna be. Let's break it down. Hydrogen. We getting flashbacks? 63. Mm -hmm. Wow. Which only leaves you with the trace elements. Cause that's not his Time wife, and this seems like a lot going on right here. What's happening? Oh wait a minute. What about calcium? Calcium's not a trace. In point eight 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 zero four two percent. It was dropping down though. We are point one 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 nine five eight percent shy. Supposedly that's everything. Yeah. Mhm. Mm What's this supposed to be? Everything a human body is made of. Ooh, this is a tough, tough, tough situation. What a tangled web we have weaved. My God. I hate these shoes. These shoes make me look like I should be changing bedpans. I don't like her sister. Hey, can you call me like in two minutes? Okay, little Walter, Thanks, who you got bye. calling you? Gotta go take this. Ooh, can you mail it? Lewis. <sighs> Not like it's any of your business, though. <sighs> he got a mouth on him. He be talking to her crazy. Should you be up on that ladder? You know, you're more than welcome to take over from me up here. I don't see why you don't just get Walter to do it. Mm -hmm. Walter ain't been around. Walter is cleaning up a body. Well, you know, actually, let me back up. Um, you, uh, you smoked your fair share of pot in college, didn't you? I mean, the man just smoking weed. I mean, he not doing it, but to her knowledge, he just smoking weed. He could be doing crack, so she should be happy for that. Tried it? Why? Do you remember it having an effect on your mood? Oh, yeah, he did yell at her. Told her to climb down out of his ass. Because I mostly remember it made me lightheaded. That's about it. Oh, she smoked a little weed in the back of her day? Um... You know, it's just a character thing. <laughs> I'm stuck on. Never mind. Girl. Walter Jr.'s on pot. What? Oh, she thinks it's Walter Jr. No, it's Big Walt. So she think. Well, he was smoking weed, though, so. This is terrible. This is, this is terrible, guys. Is that the myth? That he keeps smoking? He shouldn't be doing it. Too, too young. You too young. Jesse? You too young. Well, nobody should be doing meth but them. Look at him. He just having him a jolly good time. Way to too, child. He's smoking up the supply. The whole reason for any of this going on right now. Come on, we gotta figure this out. I can't go through a whole nother episode with the, without them figuring out what they about to do with Crazy 8. Hmm. It's like whatever he did to him wearing out. He can see clear now, huh? They turn around and look at me. Don't do that, Walter. Get on out of there. This here? I wouldn't do this to my worst enemy. Crazy. He just... Don't let him get in your head, Walter. You hope I'll make it easy and you just drop dead, don't you? Well, I won't. So either kill me or let me go. And you don't have it in you, Walter. Mm. <coughs> it seems like you don't, Walter. You you looking real weak. How do you know my name? Jesse. You told me on me. See, he know I, I said he know too much, Walter. He know too much, Walter. So what? You threaten him, huh? You beat it out of him? Not even close. He just went in there and said he knew somebody who could make that good crystal mouth. What else did he tell you? Chase got a big ass mouth. Pretty much everything you could think of. You were his high school teacher. One time you thought about carbon dioxide by making grapes. Oh my pies. god. You have a son who's retarded or in a wheelchair or something. It shouldn't come across as some news flash. A partner of yours? He's got a big mouth. I see. Walter, 
I don't know what you think you're doing here. But trust me. This line of work doesn't suit you. So I should just let you go then? Just unlock you and adios, huh? If it's between that and cold-blooded murder. Besides, your real problem is sitting upstairs. Mm, don't turn them against each other. That's the last thing we need. Walter, y'all gotta, y'all basically gotta stick together right now. Y'all are literally in this together. Crazy ain't know what he doing. He and his just, ugh. Just, ugh. What the hell, man? What are you doing, man? You asshole. You told him my name. What's that to him? My name? Where I work, you told him about my son. No, I've worked 40 grand, you stupid it's shit. It's worth nothing when you smoke it all. Get off the toilet. Exactly. Get off the toilet. <laughs> Jeez. Ooh. You just don't throw milk outside on the ground like that. Oh, Lord. Walter. These two scratching me out. Where you going, Jesse? No. No, no, no. Where the hell do you think you're going? Hey, hey, back off, man. Jesus. We got work to do. You mean that obscenity that I spent the last two hours cleaning up? That is your contribution. Yo, kiss my pink ass, man. I didn't ask for any of this. It's pink ass? I've never heard a white person say that. You didn't follow my instructions. Oh, well, Heil Hitler, bitch. And let me tell you something else. We flipped a coin. Okay? You and me. You and me. Coin flip is sacred. No, you should help him with the crazy ace situation because you made a mess of whatever you were supposed to be did. So you should be helping him with the crazy ace situation. Your job just... is waiting for you in that basement. As per the coin. Fucking do it already. He really gonna leave. Hey, where have you been? I called you two hours ago. Sorry, baby. I'm uh, kind of busy here. What's up? Well, kind of a lot, actually, and it's a delicate subject, so I need you to oh focus. Oh my gosh, and... she's about to tell her husband. Sit down! Damn it, Hank! She's about to tell her husband. I'm back, babe. What's up? Walter Jr. Yeah, what about him? And she's spreading misinformation. Skylar told you that? She inferred it. She inferred it, huh? She strongly inferred it, like... Doctor, my friend. I want you to talk to him. Yeah. Walt should talk to him. Hell, Skyler, better yet, she'll kick his butt up and down the block. I think it ought to be you. Yeah, all right. Well, listen. Uh, I mean, I'll swing by their place after work. Good. Scare him straight. Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am. Need to be wearing footies before you try this on? Mm-hmm. Step on her little stanky feet in them shoes. You know what she been walking on? No, she gonna do it anyway. You know, entitled. Seem like the type. And some nice shoes, though. She's gonna steal the shoes. What was the point of that? This look like a nice place. This is what he gonna take this for. You like to live here? No. Sure about that? Yeah. Nasty, skeevy meth heads who. No, but Jesse gonna end up. Jesse need this talk. Oh my lord. That's funny. Yeah. That's funny, huh? Yeah. Let me tell you something. Every last one of these, what do you think it was they were all doing before they graduated to shoot meth in their dicks? Gateway drug. No, they do. They do say weed is the gateway drug. You know, smoke weed, you'll smoke anything. That's what they say. So why are you telling me this? Because I love you, you little bastard. You know, just this, uh, just this one time. Hey, don't make me get out of the car. Girl, don't go over there. Check this out. That's what I'm talking about. Leave that lady alone. Other side. Go around the other side. Talk to my friend here. Lady, you don't have to do this. 
Now you on the pipe, you on the needle? Nothing. Neither. Leave that lady alone. Pipe, definitely. Big time, big time on the pipe. You got something you want to ask Wendy? Um, no, not really. You ever smoke anything else, Wendy? Sausages don't count. <laughs> you smoke pot? Why, you got some? No, oh, right, perfect. Get lost. Get out of here. Hey, fair warning, next time I'm gonna bust you. So what do you think? <laughs> What's going cool. on? Cool. Don't tell me, Jay still been done. Shut the door. Shut the door. Lock it. Lock it. Lock it. Who the hell was that? Cop and some football player messing. They ask about me. Jesse, we gotta want better for ourselves, babe. I love my beer. Jesse. <laughs> Some good points right there. Some good points. And that's a very good point. He on the, oh my lord, these men is just doing a lot. This is too much. Jesse asked and left all day long. He ain't been back home. Oh, this is too much. She ain't falling for that. You're at the car wash. She probably outside the car wash looking. Yeah. Knowing her. I seriously doubt that. Since you quit. Since you quit mm -hmm. two weeks ago. I called Bogdan looking for you. Quite an earful he gave mm. me. Listen, I'll come home and we'll talk about it. Wherever you are, why don't you just stay there? Come on, Skyler, wait! Skyler. Skyler. Hmm. Skyler. He high? Oh. That's crazy. A down there screaming. I thought that was Jesse. <laughs> oh my God. What are we going to do, Walter? What are we going to do, Walter? Cutting the crust off on him. <coughs> well, so you just showing this man you ain't got it on you. You ain't got it in you. And I know you ain't got it in you, but you better find it. He stayed out all night. That last episode slept on the bathroom floor. I've never seen someone knock themselves out just by coughing. You breathing the same shit you used on me? I've got lung cancer. I'll go make you another sandwich. It's safe. No poison. It's gotta be the way to do it. I don't think he's gonna do it. What's he gonna do? You being a chemist and all. Cook some up. Put some more of that stuff you made in the RV. I don't know. I mean, no offense, but don't you have a real name? Lamingo. Who? Lamigo? So, Domingo. Domingo? You Domingo? From around town here or someplace else? Look, Walter, you getting to know me is not going to make it easier for you to kill me. Right, Walter? I, I sure as hell am looking for any reason not to. I mean, any good reason at all. Sell me. Tell me what it is. I guess I'd start off by promising that if you let me go, I won't come after you. That you'll be safe. But you know that anybody in my situation will make promises like that. You know, in my case, they happen to be true. 
I never knew for sure. I don't know. I don't know. But you gotta convince me. And you're going nowhere until you do. ABQ, born and bred. Never left. Study business administration over at UNM. Got my degree. What? Really? Obviously, he's not using that degree, huh? I was gonna study music originally. Maybe even try out for Oberlin or Berkeley. My pops talked me out of it. So there was no money in it unless I wound up some bullshit rock star. What does your dad do? He owns Stampico Furniture over on Manal. Wait a minute, I know that place. They used to have those, those late night- uh, Yeah, the stupid commercials. They had, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's him. Been doing them for over 30 years. Wait a minute, what? How did it go? It was, uh... Don't let shopping strain your brain, oh. Just sing this short refrain, oh. Tampico is a name, oh. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> Walter. I think when my son was born that we bought his bassinet there. Mm-hmm. We don't sell bassinets there. It's more of a specialty item. You do used to sell cribs. I remember recognizing your dad from those commercials. Although he wasn't anywhere near as friendly in real life. Yeah, no shit. The paths we take, huh? Be like that. Just you know you got cancer? Nope. No one but you. Are you feminine? Mm-mm. No. Not his wife, not his son. Not a conversation I'm even remotely ready to have. That's why you're cooking, man. You want to leave money for your family. If this line of work doesn't suit you, get out before it's too late. Yeah, Walter. But then we wouldn't have no show. So, yeah. I don't know what to do. Mm, Walter. You do. I don't, we still can't trust Crazy Eight though. We still can't trust them. I've been burnt. I've been burned too many times. I can't trust Crazy Eight. He's seeming all sincere now, but I don't know. We'll get the key. Don't do that, Walt. I don't know. I don't trust it. Look at him. He probably everything he said just could have been a lie. Oh, Walter, don't be, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Jess gonna show up and stop him. What? Oh, piece of that plate missing. See? See, Walter? He trying to get you where he can get you. Can't yeah, be trusting people. Mm-hmm, Walter. He was gonna gut your ass up as soon as you let him go. He got him a nice piece, too. That's a nice piece. Walter, you about to learn this is a hard business, sir. This is a hard business. Nah. I'm talking like I know. I don't know. I don't know, but I done seen a couple drug shows, and it's a hard business. It's a hard business. You, you can't be, no, you gotta be tough. I done read a couple woodpad books. I done seen a couple movies. I done seen a couple shows. Why are you doing this? You gotta have that dog in your heart. Walter, right now, it's more like a chihuahua. Oh my God, is that gonna prompt him to go do it? Look at what he, oh my God. Look at what he came down there. Doing the right thing, Walter. You're not angry. What do you mean? Angry? Live and not live. I just want to go home. Yeah. Me too. I'm not 
like we walked This is really tearing Walter up on the inside. I get it though. I get it. Mm. Are you gonna stick me with that broken piece of plate? Walter ain't really wanna do this. I'm so sorry. I mean, I was waiting for this, but hmm. I knew he was going to have to do it. Like, it, it wasn't no way around it. He was going to have to. You can't trust crazy people like crazy. You just can't. <laughs> just like the, what, the hunchback of Notre Dame? That's what he looking like right now. Walter did some cleaning. Mr. White is feeling a little under the weather this morning. Walter missing school. Fire there could have could have started by accident. The brother-in-law getting on the job, it seems. Got a couple of dually tracks headed away towards the road. They accidentally start a fire and everybody FOs. Yeah, why not? Oh, 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 that's crazy. Eight in them car. Oh my god, I forgot that car was out there. The See? Loose ends. People loose used to be ends. conquistadors for Christ's sake. It smells like a Dracar Noir factory in here. <laughs> yeah, baby. Good at his job, I see. So it looks like meth, but it's uh it's too damn white. You know what I'm thinking, Gummy. Yeah. Somebody croaked our snitch. No, Walter ain't thinking about jumping. Yeah, but Walter got a lot on his mind. He didn't kill the man, you know. It was something he was having a hard battle with. What about the soul? <laughs> mm. The soul of a man. You done lost your soul, my no, I'm about to go this man, Michael. You done lost your soul, Dwight. Not <laughs> wrong show. Wrong show. You lost your soul, Walter. How is his leg holding up? You been to the doctor? Skyler. There's something I have to tell you. What are you gonna tell her about? The myth of the council? Okay, I just finished what episode three in things, you know, th they went how I needed them to go. Like I said, I wasn't trying to sit through a whole new, a whole episode where he didn't figure out what he was going to do about Crazy A. And, you know, it came down to it and Walter had to do what I knew he was going to have to do. He had to, he had to get rid of him. He had to off crazy eight i knew it was it was no way around that he, he had to there's just no way crazy eight was gonna just let that go and yeah so yeah it seemed like a real big moral thing for walter and i know that was hard for him to do that was hard for him to do he didn't want to have to murder anyone but he in a very deep sticky situation and like i said jesse should have helped him because jesse effed up his he talking about uh flipping the coin is sacred blah, blah blah but he messed up his side of the coin you know he didn't really do what he was supposed to do and then walter had to help him clean it up then he gonna leave and be oh, jesse 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 i just got sidetracked with jesse jesse on them drugs jesse be doing meth jesse so young no, because now I'm starting to feel just a little, like, damn, what's Jesse's life story? Like, Jesse be doing drugs. Jesse was in a hotel room with a... Doing meth. That's sad. 
it's kind of like this i feel like i'm watching the corners let me stop but yeah what is jesse's life story but anyway 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 walter ended up having to do crazy a.m you know he didn't want to he was trying to find any reason not to like he told crazy i'm just trying to find any reason any reason not to do it and you know crazy a sold him a dream like i said i don't really know if any of that was true but if the furniture store and the commercial actually exists i guess it is true so he told him the truth but still he wasn't about to let walter just walk away from the situation and walter was about to let him out walter was about to let him out so he saw he had a piece of that plate and then walter just he had to do it he had to do it and you know the situation getting even more stickier with his wife his wife he was about to lie to his wife tell his wife he was at the car wash all night but no his wife know he don't work there no more so he lied to his wife and she knows that for a fact now so yeah but i think he's going to tell her about the counselor i don't think he's about to tell her about the uh he just murdered a man and he making meth situation he's probably gonna go ahead and tell her about that lawn council which he needs to do in case there is a chance that maybe he can come out on the good side of it but then his brother-in-law on the job i forgot they left that green car out there like that they did and i was wondering when they left in the rv why one of them didn't take that car but they then they left that car out there and they left that mask out there and i don't know if this is going to come back on them i feel like it could come back on jesse somehow but i don't think it's gonna come back on them um but i don't think it's gonna come back on walter but i don't know i don't know but his brother-in-law on the case and his brother-in-law seems like he's taking his he take his job real serious and speaking of his brother-in-law his sister-in-law with her big ass mouth going around telling people that walter jr doing weed and that was just a whole lie she's stealing for no reason her husband is a cop and like i said entitled people they gonna do what they do they gonna do it yeah that you know that episode was it, it did get a bit emotional there it did get a bit sad because you know walter really didn't want to do that to crazy a and i'm feeling like damn where jesse family why jesse jesse can't be no more than maybe 20 21 maybe not even there, maybe 19 and he's doing meth that's sad so I, I'm, I'm thinking about his his life story and where is Jesse's family? Why is Jesse by himself doing meth in rundown drug filled hotel rooms with women? And you know that's sad. And like that lady, um, brother in law, he was he was wrong for that lady. Cause we, I don't know that lady's life story. I don't know what she went through for her to end up how she ended up. So it's just it's, it's sad. It's sad. It's sad. It's just sad. <sighs> anyways yeah if you made it this far thanks for being here you ain't gotta be here but you are that's amazing you are amazing i will definitely be seeing y'all in the next episode of breaking bad bye